Give a kid a model and he'll play for a day. Give a kid a 3D printer and they'll change how you look at the spread of disease, reading for the blind, and how astronauts fix the International Space Station. Hey there, smarty pantsesses. Trace and Crystal here for D News. This is our third year doing a New Year's Eve wrap up of science stuff. That's crazy. Right? 2015 was another banging year for science. We got up close with Pluto. CRISPR was everywhere. The ESA landed on a comet. I felt so many feels for little Philae. And scientists figured out quantum entanglement stopped light and created brain-to-brain -brain communication in rats. And archaeologists, of course, found a new species of human. That's just a few things from this year. It was huge. But not all science is done by professional scientists. So we dug into the news from the last year and found five youths that scienced the crap out of 2015. Way back in January, Robert Hillen, an Alabama senior, won the Future Engineers 3D Printing in Space Tool Challenge by creating an astronaut multi-tool that could be printed up on the International Space Station's new 3D printer. The multi-purpose precision maintenance tool has wrenches, wire cutters, wire gauges, a wire stripper, pry bar, and a precision measuring tool. It even has a spot for a clip or Velcro to attach the various surfaces on the station. He named it the MPMT, by the way, because he, quote, knew NASA loved acronyms. Sassy and smart, I love this kid. It's a government thing. Yeah. Also in January, a Silicon Valley 13-year-old named Shubham Banerjee created a braille printer out of Lego. Lego Mindstorms, to be precise. He did it for a school science fair, but after its success, he created a company, Naturally. more accurately, his mom created the company, he's too young, and they called it Brago Labs. The printer is designed for developing nations where expensive equipment is difficult for people who need braille to get let alone maintain. In May, news from West Africa's Ebola outbreak inspired 17-year-old Raymond Wang from Vancouver to enter Intel's International Science and Engineering Fair. Brace yourself, this is crazy and gross. When someone sneezes in an airplane, it's a closed cabin, and they expel microorganisms all over the place, even if they cover their mouth. As air swirls through the cabin, it then carries those infectious oh. organisms to everybody else's faces. Oh. Using high-res models, Wang discovered a way to keep the infectious microbugs off your face. A simple set of fins inside the existing ventilation system would give everyone a sneeze-blocking pocket of disease-free goodness. Gross, but yay? Hey, I think yay. Okay. In June, students across the pond in the United Kingdom whipped up some color-changing condoms and submitted them to the Teen Tech Award, a STEM challenge that takes place across the UK. The three guys, Danyala Lee, Shirag Shah, and Muzaz Nawaz, call it the STI. Um. Get it like I as in eyeball, because you're raising awareness of sexually transmitted infections and also increasing condom use, and you're using those condoms to detect infections at the point of contact. The latex defenders are covered in antibodies that react with a color change in the presence of bodily fluid containing antigens from common infections. They took inspiration from an ELISA, the enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, a common test for HIV. And so did the next gal on our list. And finally, we come to Olivia Hallisey, a junior in Connecticut who was also inspired to invent because of the Ebola outbreak. Back in September, her new Ebola detection method got her the top prize at the Google Science Fair. Common tests for Ebola required samples to be constantly refrigerated, which is difficult in remote regions where power grids are unreliable or in cars and small airplanes. The tests took 12 hours to check and cost $1,000 each. That is very expensive. Hallisey's new system uses a small piece of silk fibroin dipped in the same chemicals used in the traditional test. And that's it. You expose the Ebola detection card to the sample and it changes color to indicate infection, like a litmus test. It can be stored out of the fridge for a week, activated with a drop of water, and costs only 25 bucks. You go, girl. This is just a handful of all of the incredible science being done by kids this year. Smart young innovators making headlines, that's one thing, and it's great for T-News. But what were the biggest headlines from around the world in 2015? Luckily for you, Seeker Daily has that answer here. Then in June, eyes turned towards the U.S. as the Supreme Court legalized same-sex marriage across the country. Though many states had already done this, the landmark decision made same-sex marriages legal and recognized by the federal government. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe to D News so we can keep sending you science all through 2016 and have a happy new year.